The Enterprise Report Generator allows you to create custom reports with a design specific to your club. All the modules with Enterprise Reports available to them include event management, dining reservations, health and spa, court booking, and class registrations. To create a new report, navigate over to System Administration, Enterprise Report Generator, and click New. From here, we'll want to go ahead and give a report a description slash title. Then you can set your orientation to portrait or landscape. If you use portrait and you add a lot of fields, the orientation will automatically switch to landscape and provide you with a notification that the report will be changed to landscape to accommodate all the fields. Next, we want to specify the report type field by clicking the magnifying glass, and this will specify which area data will come from. This selection will define the fields available to select when customizing the report. If you select the incorrect report type, you will not see the fields that you are looking for. Note that this field can be changed at a later time, however, all fields on the report design will be reset. Report types are organized by folder slash headings, but it is the paper icon you want to select. So for example, if you like to make an event registration report, we can select the event registrations report type where we can double click or click OK to complete that selection. Next, we want to click the Save button before designing the report. If you forget this step and move right over to Edit Design, a pop-up will notify you to save the report first. So we'll go ahead and save and click Edit Design. This will open the editor function to design the report. The report designer will be split into three sections. The left hand side of the screen will consist of a list of all available fields that can be used in the report. The middle section is divided into three components. Where the top is where you can add and remove fields to design the report. The middle, which will show a preview of the report fields with sample data. And the bottom with help notes. You can change the size of these sections by clicking and dragging the solid blue line to adjust the sizing of those sections, either in the middle components or with the panels on the left and right. You can also click the pin icon to auto hide the section, which will be available as a tab at the bottom of the screen. The right side of the screen has the property tabs which include group, field, and column, as well as report and sorting. Depending on the report type selected, a skeleton of the report design will be already constructed for you by default, and you can add or delete columns as required. To remove a field, we can right-click on the column header and select Delete Column. And to add a column, simply double-click on the field from the left-hand side or click and drag. You can also move your columns around by selecting the column and dragging it over to where you'd like it to appear and placing it between the two arrows. As you customize your report, you can click the Generate Preview button, which will generate the sample preview. And you can use this option to update the preview as you go along to see your changes. You can also create groups slash subheadings. So for example, I'm going to remove event booking number as a column. And we're going to click and drag that up to where it says drag columns here to create a new group. This will create a tree structure and the group will display in red. This allows you to segregate your report and makes the group into a title and can also help with creating totals later on. To delete a group, right-click on the arrow and select Delete Group. If we go ahead and click Generate Preview, you'll see that the group will appear in bold and the data will display underneath. Now let's take a look at the additional options we have on the main toolbar at the top of the screen. You have the ability to create slash edit filters, i.e. add or modify any existing filters. You can clear those filters. Reset to default, 
This will clear and restore all fields to the report type default. Generate report, which will produce an accurate preview of the report and actually give you the numbers that you will see in the report. So it will pull real report data. You can also format the report as you customize it. If you want to customize the data, click on the dark blue section and on the right hand side of the screen, you can adjust the font and font size as well as the text format. So for example, if you want this to be general, number, or percentage. If include in totals is set to true, the report will give totals for that column. You can also adjust the heading format by selecting the heading column and you can adjust the font, the title between heading 1 and 2, as well as the background color. In the report and sorting tab, you can adjust how you would like the report to be sorted. As you are customizing your report, you also have the ability to add a filter by clicking the Create slash Edit Filters button. A filter will restrict the data that a user sees as it allows you to filter in or out certain information. For example, you can add a date range, which is one of the most common filters. A filter can also be used to omit certain areas and specify above or below certain dollar amounts. To add a filter, click the green arrow and select Add Filter below. Next, go ahead and click Select Field, which is where you select your criteria. So for example, maybe we want to filter by the event name. Then you have Is Equal To, which specifies how you want to define the criteria, and you can use any of these available options. Then you go ahead and enter your value. Another common filter is to show dates between. So we'll add a new filter, add filter below. For our field, we're going to look for the event date is equal to, we're going to switch that to is between, and we'll include our date. Now in order to get the second date field, just click tab on your keyboard and you'll be able to enter that value. You can also enable the Ask button. When clicked, we'll turn that red X into a green check mark. This will prompt for the ability to set these filter parameters each time the report is run and can be helpful for filters like a date range. Otherwise, the report will always use the same parameters. You won't necessarily need to use this option for filters like items under or over a certain dollar amount. Then click OK to save your filter. Once you've designed your report, note that there is no save button on the design report screen. Therefore, we can go ahead and click the X button. And we're going to click save from the main screen. Before finalizing the report, you can apply restrictions via the subtabs. The restrictions available will be dependent on the report type being used and can be set before or after editing the report design. Restrictions act similar to a filter in which you indicate that the report will only pull data according to the restriction set and also allow you to restrict users' access to the report. Let's take a look at another report. First, we have permissions. This is where you can restrict users from seeing or accessing this report, and it includes full access, ability to edit, only view and print, duplicate, permissions to access the permissions tab, and to delete. Then you have client statuses, where you can restrict report data to specific member statuses, and only member statuses selected will show data on the report. Just make sure you go ahead and click Save if you made any changes. Once the report is complete, you must publish it to make it available to other users. Within the General tab, we're going to go ahead and click the Publish Report button, where you can select users that you would like to make this report available to. If you like, you can also include an optional report note, then click Publish. 
Once a report has been published, it may be launched by any of the approved users in one of the following areas. My Reports, which is indicated with the yellow folder icon in multiple modules, or Print Enterprise Reports found under System Administration. If you do not publish a report, you as the creator can still find it here, it just won't show up for the other users. To print or export the report, navigate to one of the options mentioned, select your report, then click Launch or Generate. From here, you can go ahead and print your report or use the export icon to save as a format such as Excel or PDF.